everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica on today's video i'm going to be doing my top 10 drugstore priced products if my entire collection was destroyed i decided to get these products so this one was a little tough so my my high-end version um i was pretty set on most of those products like i knew the foundation that i wanted i knew the uh the different products the the concealer i knew the shadows that i wanted you know although i have a lot of high-end shadows that i could swap out for the the palette that i used um if you're curious go look at that video uh, i just posted it on tuesday um but uh this one was a lot more difficult for me because i don't have as many drugstore options as I have high-end options, if that makes sense. Now, there were some products that I picked out that I was like, absolutely, this is it, hands down, and I will tell you what those products are. There's a few products in here where I'm just like, this is it, this is my favorite product, like even more so than the high-end product. Um, but this one was difficult, and I'll, and I'll walk you through uh, my thought process with these. So, and I actually have a couple couple of different things where I have two products here where I'm not going to say that that's part of my top 10, but I will tell you that that would be like my alternative product if I didn't choose the product that I chose. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my face today uh, because I think that's the order that I did my other video in was I did my face first and then went into my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my face today. My primer that I'm going to start with is the NYX Angel Veil. Um, I don't know that this is necessarily my absolute favorite primer. To be honest with you, I don't know that I have a drugstore primer that I think is fantastic. If you have any recommendations, leave those down in the comment section down below. I've tried the NYX Angel Veil. I've tried the NYX, uh, the hydrating primer from NYX. And then beyond that, I can't tell you that there's any drugstore priced product that I that stands out that I've tried. Like I've tried an e.l.f. one, I've tried a Wet n Wild one, um, but I, I would use the two NYX ones before I'd use those. Um, so I just can't say that there's a primer that sticks out in my head from the drugstore that I would like have to run and get. So anyhow, I'm going to use this one today and... Get this. I'm just going to put this all over my face because I'm not using two primers. Um, but again, I, my my preferred primers are more high-end primers. Um, I don't really have any drugstores that are my favorite. All right. That is all rubbed in. It does blur your, pro your pores. Uh, I have heard that this is the dupe for the makes your hands slippy. I heard that this is a dupe for the Hourglass Veil Primer, Angel Veil Primer, or Mineral Veil Primer, something like that, whatever it's called. Um, I have not used that enough, and I have not used this enough to be able to tell you, because I've been dealing with more dry skin over the winter, and even right, like right now, it's, I don't know, my skin for some reason this year is being a little weird. Um, usually by now I'm very oily. I'm filming this in the middle of May. Um, obviously. Uh, but right now my skin, uh, is not as oily as it normally is. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. All right. I'm going to go in with my foundation next. And if you've watched any of my foundation reviews, I refer to this foundation often. <laughs> um, this is probably my favorite foundation of, of all time from the drugstore. Uh, it ranks up there with my naked skin, urban decay, naked skin, and my Tarte rainforest of the sea, uh, water foundation. Those two are probably my two favorite high-end versions just because of the way they sit on my skin. Um, like I said, there's a couple others that I like, like the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect, and there's a couple other higher-end ones that I do like, but my two favorites have to be the Naked Skin and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Of all of the drugstore ones that I've tried, this is my favorite, and this is the CYO 
long lasting foundation it's the life proof version this is only sold in walgreens stores and i do not have a walgreens near me in fact the closest walgreens to me is about 45 minutes away so i did actually order this online i had no problems ordering this online and usually walgreens does a lot of sales on their makeup so i think i got this like buy one get one half off like i did a whole full phase of coio uh, products and this was one of the ones I bought and I am very pleased with this. So this is a little bit light for my skin. Maybe. Depends on the day. I don't know. Um, but there it is on the back of my hand. I'm going to be using the Sigma F82 today, the round kabuki, to get this on my skin. I just really like the way this sits on my skin. I, d I don't really know how to explain it. All right, so there's that finish. Um, I just really like the way it looks on my skin. Uh, I feel like it is good coverage. I feel like it is just a slight hint of luminous. It's not like blaringly um, bright, but I do like the shininess, the little bit of shine that does give my skin. Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I just, I think it makes my skin look very nice. I don't think it looks super heavy or cakey and I just like the way it looks on my skin. So I think it's like $7, something like that. And it is one full ounce. So I would recommend that it to at least give it a try, especially if you can find it on sale, find it with a coupon, something like that. I would definitely recommend you giving it a try. I am going to be putting on a concealer today. Um, to be perfectly honest, concealer is not one of my favorite bro uh, products, my favorite makeup products, but I did actually try this concealer in a video. It's, it's in one of my foundation review videos. I believe, I believe, I believe it's in one of my foundation review videos. It's coming up for June. Uh, that I tried just a couple of days ago, and I was blown away by this this uh, uh, concealer. I thought it looked really nice on my skin. It's not as lightweight as the Naked Skin one was, but it does look nice. Now, the biggest problem with this concealer is I think it only comes in like four shades, maybe three. It's the shade range on this, at least on Ulta. I bought it on Ulta. I'm not sure if on their, their website if it's better, but on the Ulta website, it's like three or four shades. Um, but I picked this up after hearing uh, Tati actually rave about it. So this is the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camo High Coverage Concealer. This is waterproof, they say. I haven't tried it out, but it is waterproof. I have it in the color 010 Porcelain. And believe it or not, there's actually a shade lighter than this. This is the second lightest shade, I th think. I'm pretty sure this is the second lightest shade. So I'm just going to put this a little bit around my eyes. I don't like to wear too much concealer. Um just because my under eyes, I do have some bags and some lines and I don't like how uh, concealer usually just sits very deeply in them. So, all right, I'm going to take a brush and just blend this in. And then I'm probably going to come back to that in a couple of minutes and use that on my uh, eyelids as eyelid primer because I did not pick out an eyelid primer. All right, so there's that concealer. It blends in really quickly, and it's a nice shade match for my skin. Um, like I said, I think there is one lighter shade. So you probably just saw my powder. Um, I had picked out another powder, and then I put it back and went back to this one. I do like this powder. People rave about this powder. My biggest problem is the uh, packaging of it. So I actually have a lid here. <laughs> And this is the powder. It's the RCMA No Color Powder. My biggest problem is just that it literally comes like a salt shaker. So I just put way too much in the lid here. Whoops, you can't see that because my finger. Uh, I just put way too much in there. I don't know how, what I'm, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and take a brush and just powder my under eyes and then I'm going to powder my whole face even though this foundation probably doesn't need a lot of powder so we'll see and it's all over my shirt I don't think you can see that but it is all over my shirt all right so that is a very nice powder I do like it I try to brush away some of this excess powder and I don't think I got it all um it is drugstore priced I think it's like 10 or 12 dollars 
and there is three ounces of powder in here so it's very good price on that I think um, the biggest problem is that the only place that I know of to get it I'm trying to brush it off and getting more powder is uh, Beautylish so if you don't like to order online that could be a problem I have not found that I have any problems with Beautylish they have been amazing the couple of times that I have ordered from them so I personally don't have a problem with ordering off of their website but um, yeah if you don't like to, that might be a problem. I'm just not sure where else to purchase that that powder. But I, I really do like that powder a lot. Like I said, the biggest problem I have is the packaging on it. Uh, now that my face is completely set, um, again, this is very nice concealer. So we've got primer, foundation, and concealer on so far. Let's go on to our face. Now, I'm cheating a little bit. I admit it. I'm cheating a little bit. Um, I said in my high-end uh, video that I like the trios where they have like a, uh, it's a face palette, like a bronzer blush highlight or a, a contour blush highlight in a face palette. I do really enjoy those. I actually have a whole drawer, not a whole drawer. I have like a quarter of a drawer that just has those products in it because I really do enjoy them. And this product is brand new. Actually, this is the first time I'm trying it. But I've tried the products in it before, if that makes sense. So I did just pick this up at my local Walmart. It is the Physician's Form Formula Butter Collection Palette for light to medium complexions. And this does have the... Let me take this plastic off. So uh, you've probably seen a video with this before. It does have a Eau de Toilette over here, which I have not sprayed before. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm not particularly fond of scents. It has the bronzer in the bronzer color, the blush in natural glow. I actually have both of these, but I bought this blush when it first came out and I swatched the one that I have and I swatched this one and they're different colors. Like the one that I have is is more natural. This one actually has more color to it. And then I've got a highlighter in full moon and a highlighter in galactic. I think I might go with both of them. Why not, right? They're both in my palette. Why not use both? So I'm going to go ahead in with the bronzer. And you guys, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I have used this before. Um, my understanding is that this, this formula in this collection is a light, little bit different, slightly different than their normal packaging or their normal products. Um, but I have used this before. I've used this one and the light bronzer before. I do like it and the smell is fantastic it reminds me of vacation <laughs> so but as a backup I don't actually have it here on the table let me grab it so while I was pulling out all my products and planning this video I did have a different product out because I did not own this pal this face palette yet so I had actually had this one by Flower Beauty. It's the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. I had purchased this actually at Walmart as well. Um, so I had had this one as the, the package that I, or the uh, bronzer blush highlight that I was going to use for this video. And when I picked up the Butter Collection, I decided to go with this one instead. So I know that this one is, this Butter Collection is a limited edition. That flower one, to my knowledge, is not limited edition. It is so, still sold at Walmart. So if you want to get the Butter Collection, pick it up now before it goes out of stock. It's only, I think, $11, somewhere in there, $11, $12. Um, but the Flower Beauty one, I believe, is a permanent item in the stores. And I've been going a little bit heavier on the blush lately. I don't know. Just for some reason, I, I did it the one day and I like the look. And this one is such a natural color. I mean, it's called Natural Glow. If I could make one change, I would have gotten the blush from the other highlight or from the other palette, from the, the medium deep palette. Um, I would have wanted that blush because I don't own that blush. I forget which one it is, but I don't I don't have that one. Um so I would have liked to have that blush. I, I would, the deeper bronzer, I don't think would have worked for me. Um, I think this is dark enough, but I would have liked to have that other blush to give a try. Cause I don't just don't have that shade. All right. And for the highlighter, like I said, I'm going to go into both. I'm just going to dip back and forth between both 
of these and put this on and I'll be honest I think the full moon color yeah the full moon color which is the lighter of the two the galactic one is like a purple it appears that the full moon color is the one that's that is definitely coming through it's pretty though it's pretty now see that's weird so I dipped my brush into full moon first on this cheek and that seems to be the color that's really coming through over here it seems lighter to me and I dipped my brush in the galactic one first for over here and this one seems to be more of the purple tone I don't know that's weird that's weird right maybe it's just me I don't know I will say this though that my highlighters got a little powdery whereas the other ones didn't okay I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. So we are up to four products, primer, foundation, concealer, and then my face palette. So we are up to four now. Moving on. I'm going to use some of that concealer and I'm sorry, we're up to five because of the face powder. Five because of the face powder. I'm going to use just a dab of that concealer on my eyelids as an eye primer. Now, I'll say this, I didn't notice it the other time I used this, but there is like a scent to this, just a slight scent. It's not, it's not too bad, but there is definitely a scent. So this next product I had two picked out. So I had one and then I went and picked up another one. So the palette that I was going to use today and I decided to pick up a different one was this one right here. I was gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is beautiful. If you haven't seen it, go into a uh, Ulta and, ooh, I just got my finger in there. Uh, go into an Ulta and swatch it because it has just about every color that you could ever d dream of having. Uh, you could literally buy this one palette and probably never buy another palette again as long as the product doesn't go bad. I don't know, I've never, this is like my, one of like two Morphe products. I don't know how long they last, but this is a good palette. It really is, um, but it is in the $30 range. So given that the price is so high on this, even though it's Morphe and it is more of a drugstore product, I just, I, I just couldn't let myself use this today because of the price of it. So. What I ended up going with was this one here from ColourPop. It's the ColourPop X Kathleen Lights Dream Street Palette. It is, um, it has a lot of colors in it. So you have a lot of variety. You could do a bunch of different looks with this. Um, I don't know. I like it. I actually took this traveling with me. So I, I do like it. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this that I have not done before. We'll see if it works out. But I'm gonna take this color right here, which I think is called Magical. I'm gonna use that to set that concealer to make sure that it doesn't crease on me here. So, um, I, my camera shut off, I don't know where it shut off at. So this is like $16 somewhere in there. So it is a more drugstore appropriate type price. Um, I was gonna pull out one of my NYX palettes, but they're on the higher end pricing. I was gonna pull out uh, one of my um, Flower Beauty palettes, but I decided not to do those because there were, they were fewer options in those ones. Um, the one palette that I was gonna really pull out was the Pixie by Petra. Uh, what was it called? It was the red one. I just tweeted it the other day because I actually found it at TJ Maxx and it was like half price. It was like seven or eight bucks at TJ Maxx. Go out and look, if you if you don't follow me on Twitter, look up, um, I'm, I'm at Epic Beauty Fail there. Uh, look look it up. I did tweet it. Like I said, I was, I was in a, Mar no, I was at a Marshalls, but then I saw it in TJ Maxx as well. So you, if you go to your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you might be able to find that palette. It's just a very warm red palette, um, reds, and it, it's just a warm palette. And I was going to pull that one out, but because it's not sold at Target anymore, it was last season's, I decided not to do that. Um, and then I was going to pull a BH Cosmetics palette out, so I ended up with this one right here. 
Okay, so I did set my concealer. I'm gonna go into the color beside it, which is, I think, Shooting Star. Maybe, I don't know, I can never read these. It's this brown one right here. I'm gonna build that up into my crease a little bit. It's the lighter of the browns. Um, there's the cream one, then there's the lighter brown, and then there's the darker brown. But I'm gonna build this one into my crease next. All right, I'm gonna go into a color that I normally wouldn't use, but because it is like 8.30 at night or nine o'clock at night, and I'm pretty much just gonna go wash my face and go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a blue and red look today. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which I think is Water Bearer, and I am just going to pack that on my lid. It is a deeper blue shade. All right, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into this color here, which I think is Mermaid Boy. I think, and I'm gonna pack Mermaid Boy right on top of Water Bearer. And this is just a shimmery blue. So I'm hoping this makes it just a little bit shiny. I'm not super happy how that turned out, but I'm gonna come back to that. All right, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which I think is Spark. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with that color, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I have used this palette to make like a red look and I, I really liked it. So, all right, I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and I'm gonna take the color right here, which I think is Kaleidoscope, and I'm going to pack that on my lid over top of that blue. So I like that better. It's not as dark as I was going for, but I like that better. Okay, I'm gonna go in with just the dark brown. I'm just gonna use all my brushes today. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in with the dark brown color, which I think is Elfish, I think. And I'm just gonna put that in my outer, outer V uh, area. All right, I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and take that same brown shade and run that along my lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna take that same pencil brush. I'm gonna go into the blue color, which I think was what, Water Bearer? And I'm gonna uh, smudge that on top of the brown. Don't rub your brush across your eyeball because that does not feel good. All right, I'm going to be done with this. Uh, I do like this palette. You can do a bunch of different good looks. I typically will do something that's a little bit more neutral, like a reds or pinks or oranges, peaches. You know, I usually use these colors. And even in here, pretty much the blues are the only shades I haven't used yet, which is why I wanted to use it for this look. Uh, my look didn't turn out super blue, but it's different. All right. I just have four products left. I'm going to put all my brushes aside because I think I tried to use every brush, not every brush, not anywhere near every brush. I have a lot of brushes. Okay, next I'm going to put on mascara. My favorite drugstore mascara is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. This is a little bit older product. I need to probably buy a new one. We'll see how it applies because I've had this specific bottle for several months. And uh, yeah, it's actually not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad. All right, so that is a little bit dry. <laughs> um, trust me, uh, you can go back and look at other videos. Uh, that is actually a really good mascara, especially for like five bucks, I think. I like it. Uh, it is a little bit dry, so it is leaving my lashes falling just a little bit more than it normally does when it's it's brand new. Uh, so I do need to pick up a new one of these. But this is my favorite drugstore uh, mascara. I know a lot of people swear by the um, Lash Paradise. Is that right? Uh, I just got it in one of those um, Walmart boxes. Yeah, the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I have not opened this yet. I know a lot of people really love that mascara. Uh, Jam Beauty, Tati. I've heard several people say that it's their absolute favorite. I have not tried it, so I can't include it as one of my favorites. 
this I do like this I would go out and buy I would probably if if all of my my makeup was destroyed I would probably go pick up one of these and one of my benefit roller lash because I like my benefit roller lash better but I really like this as far as drugstore goes so those are probably the two products that I would buy if my entire collection was destroyed all right I'm gonna do some eyeliner I'm going to try to do a winged eyeliner. We'll see if it works. I'm not so very good at this, but this is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I do really like gel eyeliners as well. So I'm going to stick with this one. This is easily accessible from the, the drugstore. It's very inexpensive. I think it was like four or five bucks, um, maybe a little bit higher, seven or eight bucks. But I found this at Rite Aid. I'm going to use this for my look today. Okay, so those wings got very dramatic. Oh my gosh, it just transferred. I didn't wait for it to dry long enough. One second, please. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> it was going so well. Okay, eyeliner done. It doesn't normally transfer if you let it dry. Uh, I just didn't give it an, I had put like one little line there before letting it, before I started talking again and didn't let it dry okay two products left um i don't always like lipsticks from this brand but this one i do like so this is the ColourPop lippy stick in aquarius and this is the cream finish this is one of uh, kathleen light's um collaborations i do like this color a lot i like this formula the cream formula a lot uh, I have a lot of drugstore lipsticks, a lot of drugstore lipsticks. I have a ton of the wet and wild liquid cat suits. Um, this is comfortable. I like the shade. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. So I like that shade. It's very close to a nude shade for me. It's a little bit darker than my natural, natural lip color, a little bit more peachy. So I do like it, especially if I'm doing a more dramatic eye look. Um, this shade, like I said, it's Aquarius. It's definitely uh, a nice shade, at least for me and my skin tone. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, I have a ton of drugstore lipsticks. I have a ton of lipsticks. Other than eyeshadows, I have lipsticks probably the most, and I might even have more lipsticks than I have eyeshadows. So I like this formula. I would recommend it. Like I said, this is the lippy stick in the cream finish. I do like it. I would recommend it. I think it's like five or six bucks. So, and ColourPop is now sold at Ulta. So that's nice. And my last product is a setting spray. I have two setting, sp setting sprays sitting here on my table. I'm only gonna be using one of them, but you've probably seen this one setting spray pretty often lately. It is the Pixie by Petra setting makeup fixing mist with the rose water and green tea. I was going to use this one, but then I decided to go for an old favorite. This is very good though. I think this is more expensive by like two or $3. This is like 14 or 15 bucks. I think this is like 10 or 11. And this one has more in it though. This one has 2.7 ounces, 80 milliliters. And this has 2.03 ounces, 60 milliliters. But I am gonna use this one. Milani is sold at Target. It is sold at Ulta. It's sold at Walgreens, I think. It is not sold, at least at my Rite Aid. Yeah, so you can find it. This is the Make It Last setting spray. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. It's the Milani Make It Last. I do like this setting spray. It's really good really uh drugstore priced so we're gonna go ahead and spray my face down and it has a really pleasant smell not as nice as this one <laughs> this one smells like roses and it's not like a super heavy rose scent um i think i've said this before this this scent of this reminds me of my grandmother which might be why i'm so particularly fond of it but I do like it. All right, let's go back and recap all 10 of my drugstore products that I would purchase if my entire collection disappeared. Uh, first of all, a primer. Uh, I'm not particularly set on any one primer, but I did use the NYX Angel Veil. I have a couple of NYX primers. They, the, at least the couple that I have are very good. I do like them. I do use them. So let me know in the comment section if you have any primer that you would recommend that is from a drugstore that I could give a try. I'd appreciate it. All right, my foundation, 
I love this foundation. One of my favorites of all time, even above a lot of drugstore products. CYO, absolutely my favorite foundation. This Catrice Liquid Camo is actually a really nice concealer. As you can see, I can see it's not settled very deeply into my lines. And I've been filming this video for almost an hour now. I like it. It's looking really good. I would recommend this if you can find something in your shade. Like I said, at least on the Ulta site, I think it's only like three or four shades. Powder, RCMA, no color powder, three ounces. I think it's like 11 or $12. It's a very good powder. Very, very good powder. I like it other than the packaging. Uh, face palettes. I would recommend the flower one. And I would also recommend the butter collection. If you can get it, it is a limited edition. It's not going to be out for super long. I would personally recommend either one of these. These are very good products. If you don't get it in the collection, I would still recommend the bronzer and the highlighters. And that blush too is a little bit fair. Um, but this is a good uh, face palette as well. On the eyes, I have to recommend the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you don't mind spending $30, it's a good palette. You can make just about any look under the sun with this palette. It is beautiful absolutely recommend but it is a little bit pricier so i would definitely recommend the dream street palette this just came out on ulta as well uh just saw it actually yesterday in their new section two days ago in their new section so you can get this at ulta now i keep bringing up ulta because i really like their rewards program uh it's the same price as if you get it on the ColourPop website unless you're getting a discount on the ColourPop website i i personally like the rewards program on the ulta website all right a couple more things real quick the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara, one of my favorite drugstore found uh, mascaras, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to try the Lash Paradise, but right now the Lash Renegade from Wet n Wild, very, very good uh, mascara. It's worth the $5, something like that. The Jessie's Girl Eyeliner, this is pretty good, like I said. Uh, I might consider skipping an eyeliner if I was refilming this video. I like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This one's pretty good. I would say it's not an exact dupe for that eyeliner, but it's not bad. I'm just a little miffed that it transferred, but that's my own fault. That's user error. The ColourPop Lippy Stick in the cream uh, matte or the cream finish. I do like these. I only have one of them, but I do like them. I could go in my drawer and pick out probably 10 or 15 lipsticks that I would recommend from the drugstore, but I like this finish. I like how it wears. I like that it doesn't dry out my lips. So there you go. And last but not least, I would recommend either one of these uh, face sprays, the setting sprays. Um, this one does have a rose scent. This one, I, it's hard to explain the scent on this. It has a very distinct smell. If you haven't smelled it, it's very distinct. So I would recommend either one of these, even though I used this one today. Um, there you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I used 10 products today on my face. I hoped that this had not gone so long, but it did. I very much apologize. I'm going to be kicking myself as I'm editing this on Wednesday night, trying to get it to you by Thursday. Anyhow, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. What would be your top 10 drugstore products if your entire collection disappeared? I would love to hear some of your thoughts. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye!